Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Comet Catch-Up. I'm your host, Ben, and today we'll be catching up on SG's de-densification resolution, UTD grades, cross-country, and more. Let's get you caught up with the news. Student government passed a de-densification resolution recommending UTD return to redensification. SG took the proposal to the Academic Senate earlier this week, who will decide whether the recommendation, or an altered version of it, goes through to the university. If the resolution does go through, university admin are expected to help implement the proposal. Ever wonder why the activity center seems so cramped? UREC Director Tricia Losavasio spoke about AC spacing concerns, attributing the lack of space with accelerated campus growth in a short amount of time. In order to accommodate the approximately 30,000 students on campus right now, a number which was significantly smaller when the AC was still under construction, the AC would need to be 300,000 square feet large, meaning 10 square feet per student recommendations. The AC is, however, under 150,000 square feet right now, which is why space might seem pretty cramped. Lasavio said recreation fees, which are currently $65 of tuition, would need to be doubled or tripled for expansion to occur. Last week's thunderstorms and rain caused water leaks in several apartments and dorms. Many of the leaks occurred from already fragile or collapsed windowsills from the rain. Housing maintenance is working to resolve the leak issues, which students can report as an emergency or work order for assistance. UTD Grades is finally updated. You can now check out grade distributions for classes and professors for terms until the summer 2021 semester. And now for the club bulletin board. Fascinated by minerals? Crystal energy mystic? Just want a cool stone to add to your rock collection? The UTD Geo Club is having rock and mineral sales for 30 to 50% off for the rest of the semester. Sales will be on Wednesdays from 12 to 2 p.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. and on Fridays from 1 to 3 p.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. in the rock and mineral lab located in the UTD ROC building. You can contact Blake Zastro at blake.zastro at utdallas.edu for any questions. Do you enjoy writing, sports, ranting to your friends who don't listen, or some combination of the above? Well, The Mercury has got a spot for you. The Mercury is hiring paid general reporters, sports writers, and opinion columnists to write bi-weekly for the newspaper. For more information on positions, you can email Editor-in-Chief Tyler Burkhart with questions or Opinion Editor Fatima Azim to pitch an opinion column idea. Check the description box below for contact information. Now let's get caught up with sports. UTD men and women's cross country wrapped up their regular seasons last Saturday at the Billy Libby Invitational. Men's cross country finished at the Invitational by claiming their third title of the semester, while women's cross country finished in third place for their six kilometer race. Both teams are headed to the ASC Championships next, which will take place on October 30th in Clarksville, Arkansas. The UTD men's soccer team won against the East Texas Baptist Tigers with a flawless 4-0 road win. Having won their last three games, the Comets are sitting at fourth place in the ASC regular season championship. The team has two games left to play for the championship on their schedule, which we've linked in the description below. And now for eSports. The Overwatch team continues their fall semester with a top four finish at the Will English Invitational, taking their first losses in a while and making a deep loser's bracket run. They continue to be undefeated in the NACE bracket and the Overwatch Collegiate Homecoming. The CRL fall season will begin soon, and the Comets qualified for league play with their 7-1 run through the qualifying groups. Keep an eye out for College Car Bowl broadcasts to catch our team on stream. And that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time for another episode of the Comet Catch-Up.